Hi, boys and girls. Today we are on the next lesson in our mini social studies unit. We're going to continue learning about diversity. This is the page you should be on in your workbook, and it is page six. Let's talk about what does diversity mean. Now, if you were in school, I would have had you turn and talk to a friend and say, okay, do you remember from yesterday? What does it mean to be diverse? What does diversity mean? I want you to think about it for a second. What does diversity mean? Do you remember? Does it mean everyone is the same? Mm, I don't think so. Let's see. Diversity is how people are different. And this picture here is a good example. And I showed it to you yesterday. The people here have different color shirts on. They have different skin color, different hair color. And think about you compared to your friends in class. You might look different than the person who you sit next to in class. Okay, we are all very different. But how did we get that way, I wonder? How did we all become different? People are not only different on the outside, we're different on the inside too. And I talked about this yesterday a little. Some people speak different languages. Remember how I gave the example that if we weren't diverse, and if we all just knew the same language, then we wouldn't have new languages to learn and to speak. People are different from the traditions they have. One of my favorite traditions that my family has is on Christmas Eve. We are Italian, and a lot of times if you're Italian on Christmas Eve, you eat fish. You, it's called the Feast of the, I want to say, Seven Fishes. So you're supposed to have seven types of different fish that you eat on Christmas Eve. And that's a tradition I have with my family but it might be different than a tradition that my friend has with their family. We all have different traditions and we all have different foods. If you're Italian, you might be used to eating maybe pasta and chicken and lots of red sauce. But if you are Mexican, then you would probably eat a lot of Mexican foods and maybe some tacos or rice. And if you are Japanese, you might be used to eating a lot of sushi. So think about all of the, the different types of food there are. It comes because there's all these different places in the world, and that makes us all different, which also goes back to diversity. Imagine if we were all just from one place where there was one type of food, one language, everyone looks the same. That would not be a very special place to be. But why do you think we're all different? How do you think we got this way? We are going to learn a little bit more about that now. We're going to watch a video called The, um, the Great American Melting Pot. It's the my grandmother came from Russia, a satchel on her knee. My grandfather had his father's cap he brought from Italy. They'd heard about a country where life might let them win. They paid the fare to America and there they melted in. A lovely lady, Liberty, with her book of recipes and the finest one she's got. America was founded by the English, but also by the Germans, Dutch, and French. The principles of sticks, our heritage is mixed. So any kid could be the president. president. You simply melt right in. It doesn't matter what your skin. It doesn't matter where you're from or your religion. You jump right into the middle of America. Melting pot, great American melting pot. Ooh, 
was true and white and blue. America was the new world and Europe was the old. America was the land of hope or so the legend told. On steamboats by the millions in search of honest pay. Those 19th century immigrants sailed to reach the USA. Lovely Lady Liberty with her book of recipes and the finest one she's got. The Great American Melting Pot. The Great American Melting Pot. What good ingredients, liberty and immigrants? They brought the country's customs, their language and their ways. They filled the factories to the soil, helped build the USA. Go on and ask your grandma, hear what she has to tell. How great to be American and something else as well. Lovely Lady Liberty with her book of recipes and the finest one she's got. All right, so that was the video, America, the Great American Melting Pot. Now, they were saying, America, the country we live in, is called the New World. It was called the New World because it was a new country, a new land that people found. So we have people from Germany and people from England and Italy and Ireland and Russia and all over leaving their countries to come to our country, America. So we are called the melting pot because everyone came from different places and they brought all of their traditions. They brought their languages, they brought their food. And if you notice, there was one part in the video that I liked, let me see if I could go back to it, where it shows you the ingredients of the American melting pot. If you look here, it says Armenians, Africans, English, Dutch, Italians, Chinese, Poles, that means Polish, Irish, German, Puerto Ricans, Portuguese, and it goes on and on and on because that is what we are made up of. Our country, America, is made up of all of those different cultures and um, traditions and heritage. So let me go back here. And I wish I could hear this part from you. It says, let's listen to all the interesting traditions that make our family special. I want you guys today to maybe talk to someone at home and see if you have any traditions from your culture. So um, are you Italian? Do you eat a specific food? Do you guys have a tradition based on your religion or wherever your family came from? I would love for you to ask someone at home and maybe you guys can write it down and we can talk about it tomorrow. Now I want us to go back to this page. It says, answer the question using what you have learned after watching the video, The Great American Melting Pot. Why is America called a melting pot? Well, after I just showed you this picture and we talked about it a little, how America is the new world, why was America called a melting pot? Is it made up of just one type of language and one type of people from only one country? No way. America is a melting pot because people came from many different countries. So we're going to say people came to America from many different countries. That's why we're a melting pot. That's why we're so different and have all of these different languages and foods and traditions and cultures in our country. 
So that's why we're called the melting pot. And remember, I want you to talk to someone at home today about any traditions that you have in your family. I would love to hear about them.